Hi everyone, a new comet is paying us a visit, one that took 50,000 years just to get here. It is comet C2022E3ZTF. The ZTF stands for Zwicky Transient Facilities. They're the ones who discovered this comet last March. The comet will be closest to the sun on Thursday, January 12th, and closest to the earth on February 1st. Now, I took this picture on the morning of January 11th at 5 a.m. using the Orion Eon 130mm triplet refractor telescope. Then, it was in the constellation Corona Borealis. It is heading toward an area of the sky near the North Star Polaris, and that will be by the end of the month. Currently, it is viewable only with a telescope or binoculars in the early morning hours in the east-northeastern sky about three hours before dawn. By the end of the month, though, it'll be high in the northern sky around that North Star Polaris during the entire night long. Many have asked as to why is the comet greenish in color? Well, that has to do with its chemical composition. Many comets contain a mixture of water ice, which is H2O, dry ice, which is solid CO2 or carbon dioxide, methane, CH4, ammonia, which is NH3, carbon monoxide, which is CO, along with cyanide, which is a compound of carbon and nitrogen, or CN, and diatomic carbon, two carbon atoms bonded together. As the comet approaches the sun, it begins to heat up, and many of these compounds begin to evaporate into gases. Of particular, the gases containing carbon will give off a greenish glow. Currently, the comet is not visible without the aid of a telescope or binoculars and is at a visual magnitude of 7.2. To be a visual object to the eye, the magnitude would need to be a 5 or less, and, and that is in the darkest skies. In magnitude terms, the lower the value, the brighter the object. In and around cities, it would need to be less than 3 to be able to see with the naked eye. Will this comet become that bright? Probably not, as its magnitude is forecast to be around 5.4 at its brightest, and that'll be around February 1st when it's closest to the Earth. But the brightness of comets is notoriously known as unpredictable. The comet will safely pass the Earth on its outward journey on February 1st at a distance of about 26 million miles. That's far enough away. And 42 million kilometers, if you want to measure that in kilometers. It is moving at a velocity with respect to the sun at about 24.7 miles a second, or about 40 kilometers per second. The next trip around here will be about 50,000 years from now. I'll be posting more videos, images, and animations of this comet right here on my YouTube channel of Heavenly Backyard Astronomy and on my Facebook Weather and Nature page and Heavenly Backyard Facebook page. See the links in the description area below. And feel free to put your comments below in the comment sections. Thanks for watching and remember the heavens are filled with majestic wonders and comets as well as we're just seeing here. And all of these are in a sky near you. So unless you need rain, clear sky Guys, everyone.